cautionary tale. I remember a proverb about stable doors and horses. Well, this was used not quite as stable, but as a kennel. It's an old van back, and I liked the natural light that streamed through the translucent roof so much that I didn't insulate it. And this last weekend in the UK, we've had some cold weather. Due to that, uh, moisture has condensed on the ceiling and frozen. And then as the sun has come out, it has poured off like little drops of rain onto the layout. The bolting horse, uh, well, here I am having put polystyrene onto the ceiling now. It certainly has improved matters. And I've also covered the layout with sheets of plastic. Uh, partly that's protected from falling debris and things from the roof. The good news is there are no great puddles of water on the plastic, so it appears as though the condensation problem has been eased a little, but it isn't quite as cold. Now, one little thing. There are people out there who seem to be very knowledgeable. And this is the idea of sacrificial cold plates. Having insulated the worst area, which was that metal beam across there, which was pouring with water. I mean, huge drips pouring off that, and that was presumably the coldest place. Now, after one evening, the place that's getting the water is the door. The door is the largest area in this shed, which now isn't insulated. It's just made of half inch or slightly thicker plywood. And I'm wondering whether that could be used to advantage, i.e insulate everything as far as possible but have something there's a couple of bits of metal down the corners there that gets cold and if you look up here you'll see a drip on that metal beam there to be used as a sacrificial area condensing the moisture out of the atmosphere in the shed there are no windows in this shed I want, didn't want them for security. Anyway, hopefully in future videos, because I know that we all love to look at one another's videos to see real or model trains running, those beautiful, beautiful model trains and those real engines. And unfortunately, in this one, it's just a tale, a cautionary tale. And I hope in future to see whether I am able to restore the layout because it has got damp and it is using conventional materials such as card buildings, things stuck together with PVA, etc. So we'll see how badly it has fared. That's it.